Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini. My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? Hi, Vibe Cross Watcher. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Sending you all the love, light, and healing energy. I hope everyone is doing well. Okay, keep in mind this is a general message. It's not going to resonate with each and everybody or nobody. So only take what fits for you, my lovies. And leave the rest, okay? Don't force it. If you want your own personal, hit me up in the details in the description box below. Now, when you hit me up, don't be looking for no fairy tale. You know, I'm a straight hip shooting from the hip. Okay, no sugar coating. So, you know, I have to t deliver to what spirit has and they see that you don't see. So, anyway, choir, come to the front. Uh, uh, um, one, two, three, oh, T girl, tarot, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, tarot, ooh, magic and collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Yay, that's what's up. Okay, let's go into it. Let's tap right in. Somebody is in their emotions. I'm getting the masculine energy. It could be an emperor. He's showing up as the emperor. Extremely in his emotions right now. Okay, um, what's going on? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, he's in his emotions right now, and they want to mend something. They want to come together and mend things with you because they see you're moving on. I don't know whatever information you told or spoke to this person. It's some cutting truth, and I feel this person's in denial, and they don't believe it, but you're gone. You're gone. You see you running away, so you're running away from this person, and you're pretty much almost at the finish line for some of you. 47 could be a significant number. Or whatever the case may be. So you're running away to maintain your peace from this individual. I feel this individual is a lot of conflict and chaos around them. They're repetitive. They're a repeat offender, I'm hearing. Okay? Always learning, always repeating cycles, but never learning the lessons. So spirit, yeah, because this they always keep doing it over and over again. Even though this ain't the round and round card. But this energy feels like they have something unfinished with you. They want to mend something with you. What is their ulterior motive, spirit? Because now, why they want to come back to Gemini? Like, what had happened? What's going on? What had happened? I mean, it could be a fight. You guys could have had a fight or whatever. Yeah, you done, You released this person. That's for sure to get your peace. Pretty much. So, yeah, this was, uh, this was divinely guided. You're the lovers, Gemini. You put up with a lot, okay? So, sometimes you let make people misuse and mistreat you. But this person, now they're going to come to you and be like, let's mend because I've cleaned up my life. And that's cool. That's cool. I feel like they clean up their life. But truth be told, they don't have any love. Okay? They don't have any love. With these hearts flying out of the window and this owl, okay, you're very wise. You know this person's not in love. They're wearing a fake mask. You fell in love with a representative I'm picking up. Mm -hmm. So now that you've left this person or you're running away from this person or whatever the case may be, now you're in a better space. You're able to breathe and meditate and keep your mind and connected with the ancestors and God so you can balance out your life. Okay, you could be dealing with a Libra. You could be a Libra. Don't have to be. Definitely. And now this person needs a leg up, though, because I feel they're going through some type of lack, some type of poverty or whatever the case may be. But you speak some type of truth. So I don't know if you spoke some type of truth to this individual. Yes, you usually did because you're the queen of swords, king of swords, energy, the truth, the upright law, law. Um, now this person is trying to clean up their act to be fair, to balance out themselves. So they're going to come to you for some type of help. Okay. What kind of help are they going to come with? Yeah, they're going to want to build with you. Definitely. But spirit said, oh no, honey, please don't do that with this kind of energy. Because there's always, a, there's always a, something going on. It's always something. Look, this person, they feel like they have unfinished business with you. But the business is finished, Spirit said. And the reason they feel that is because they feel you're a soulmate energy. And you are their soulmate. And they want a new life with you. Okay, well, what's kind of life? Yeah. They, you then laid it down to rest. Okay, so this person could be very lazy. I'm getting lazy energy. But you've laid this relationship down 
okay? Some of you guys are taking naps in the middle of the day, which is good, okay? You guys work hard, everything. You guys need to balance out that energy. You could be going through ascension symptoms, making you sleepy Some for some of you, not all of you, okay? But this person is upset that you laid this relationship to rest. See, this is the type of energy that this person is. Oh, you can try to start building with them, and then all of a sudden, it's like halfway done. So this is a half-ass person, and they feel like it's an unfinished symphony, and they want you to finish building blocks with them because they want to get into this new, new life and happy, happy, happy with you. They want this with you because this is the life that you were getting or you received when you left this person or when you leave this person. Uh, clean it up and chop it out to balance out your life because this person keeps you imbalanced, okay? They're very greedy, very selfish, very smug. They don't think about anything else but themselves. They don't want to put in the hard work and the effort, but the only reason they want to do this now is because they see you in the land of milk and honey living your best life, balancing out your life. Uh, and you don't want them anymore, and that's another reason. You know, people want things that they can't have. And I feel that this energy, since they have no access to you anymore... They want you. They want you back. And now they're going to come back into you, into you, unto you to tell you that I've cleaned up my act. I've balanced out my life. I've had an elevation, spiritual awakening, and I want to come back and build with you. But Spirit said it's going to always remain, remain this, half with half ass built. Okay, because this person's not learning lessons because they're lazy. And they know that you're fated to be a star or you are a star, your earth angel or whatever the case may be. So they're going to ride off your coattail. That's what they're going to do. But now this person wants to follow you and do things by the book. Like I said, they are a soulmate. But a soulmate for what, though? But what's going on, Holy Spirit? Tell me more about this energy that's sad, that want to come back, or what's going on. Why are they? I don't know. I'm tired of them, though. I'm getting tired of them. I need them to heal. They're looking at you, watching you. So this person's studying you, actually. And, yeah, they're studying you of what to say, what to do when they come in so you can accept them back. But just know they're lying, okay? You know the truth. You know the truth about this individual. But this, when I see this, yeah, they're going to tell you they're telling the truth and you're going to want to believe that they're telling the truth. But look at this fake-ass, gold-ass mask, okay? This is a manipulator, especially a wise one, too. So this person knows exactly what they're doing, okay? Why are they trying to manipulate my baby? Yeah, they want to know why. Why? Why? Because you released them. You let them go to live your life and to build a new life for yourself so you can be oh so you can be happy and also god and the ancestors told you to do this okay they told you to leave this person out in the cold or whatever the case may be so you can get this new life some of y'all i don't know and they thinking they thinking about you they probably thinking about all the times that all the chances that you gave them to work this out but this person refused and never wanted to learn the lessons of the cycles that they kept repeating but now they want to go the distance and you're running away from this energy. They're chasing you and you're running away, but they want to go to they want to go the distance now because they feel left out or they have some type of lack going on in their life and they can't build like you. They can't grow like you. But number 1, they're not going to get there because they need to have faith. This is having faith. You see the blindfold on her face? She's building the blocks and giving glory and all the she's not having any resistance, okay? And she's trusting God and God is actually building the building blocks because she's not touching under these building blocks. She's have she's going within having faith and God is building the foundation for her. So that's why this, per, this person can't go with you because whatever you're building, this was a faded event and things that need to be done by the book. This person needs structure and discipline. It could be somebody that you were married to or in a long-term relationship with, or have children with, or it could be family. I don't know. Just take the energy how it goes. But these are energies that you cannot build with. What is, what, yeah, because they're, I don't know. What's going on, spirit? Why can't Gemini high vibe build with these energies? Because you're living in the here and now. You can't go back to the past. You can't build from the past. Only thing you can do is learn from the past. But this person feels like you're no place like home. And if they could just get back in your energy, they can be in a peaceful state too. But no, that's not true. You know, peace is within. It is not without. So this person is looking out at you to bring them solace, to give them this new life. But this person doesn't want to learn and they're lazy and they don't want to put in the hard work and do things by the book. They don't want to do structured and discipline. They want to do what they want to do when they want to do it. Yeah, and you're supposed to accept that. This is how this energy feels. What else, Holy Spirit? What else? How else is this energy feeling? What's going on with them? 
I don't know what this is, y'all. But it could be you. Now they want to now they want to leave. I feel that people have abandoned this person though, too. Yeah, this person, yeah, a lot of people have left this person in the dust. They're reflecting back on their life, but they're still stuck where they're at. They have not built anything. There's nothing new coming in fruition. And everything in your life is brand new. Yeah, it's brand new and it's time to go. So yeah, you got all the good cards over here. You're happy. Okay, you got the support of God and the ancestors. Yeah. And this person, now they want to go out to sea to get this land of milk and honey with you. But it's not going to be no land of milk and honey. It might be milk. I mean, I'm getting mud and what else, Spirit? I don't know what this is. It's not going to, but it's time to go. Look, Spirit said, no, it doesn't matter what this person wants to do. Spirit say, forgive them, but they are not for you. And they're not part of your future. Because fortune cookies tell your future. And also, you've also leveled up. You see the, the, the tray being lifted up with the fortune on the top. And then you're playing checkers now. So you're not even the same person that you used to be. Your mind is elevated and completely different. You know, when this person, when you were with this person a lot of the times, Spirit says you were in this energy. You were feeling left out and orphaned, okay? And um, th this person, yeah, but you felt that they were a soulmate. That's why you were willing to low-key sacrifice yourself. But Spirit said, no, it's time to lay that relationship down to rest and, grow, and really go the distance and put your all in all into doing things by the book. Cutting out people, places, and things that don't serve your highest good or anything like that. Time was a ticking and time didn't wait for anyone. Everything's an appointed time, divinely guided. So whatever you're doing or wherever you're at right now is divinely guided for you to be in this energy of happy, happy, happy. Could you have been in this energy with this person that's in this orphaned energy? Absolutely not. Maybe you were in that energy, but God had to give you an elevation celebration, something enlighten you to move another way to kind of go the distance and leave things behind to take you out to sea because god brought you out to sea yes he did because like i'm gonna repeat it this person is not for you because they's a fake bitch i just said that earlier they's a fake bitch and you don't had a transformation okay you were in the dark so you kind of matched this energy when you were with them like attracts like energy see when you put these 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 colors match this is the dark this is when you were with this person Okay, but now coming out of the dark, you see how that is? Beautiful. You have life. This person was sucking the life out of you, an energy vampire, a fake person. That was your soulmate. So they were your karmic soulmate, but you weren't able to ever build with them. And you kept mending over and over and over and over and over again because you felt it was this unfinished symphony between you two. But every time you would try to come together, shit would get half-assed built or they would leave you out in the cold or whatever the case may be. Spirit just needed you to go through these experiences to let you know that this person is not for you. Like Tina Turner said, what's love got to do with it? Got to do with it. What's love but a secondhand emotion, okay? Action, is, love is action. This person didn't, didn't treat you like love. They didn't. They were using you, I'm, I'm getting. Magician, they were using you, Gemini. It could be another, yeah, they were using you because you're very loving and nurturing and caring. So they were emotionally manipulating you off of your energy. Okay. Their intentions weren't not, yeah. Gemini, you're the Ace of Cups is why they want to come back. King of Swords. So you spoke something though. What did Gemini speak? Mm -hmm. I don't know if she spoke Gemini, but anyway, what's going on, Spirit? Got to keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, the wheel turned. Oh, the person, this person didn't know the wheel was going to turn in your favor. And they always thought they were going to be a part of your life, able to come in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And you would just accept whatever, whenever, however. But see, there came a time where God had, okay, oh, enough is enough. It's time for my baby to co-create, get into this treasure island and having her ascension or his ascension. So I can bring them a soulmate. And they just let you know, God is really your soulmate. That is your soul. The soul is God in you. And that is your soul mate. Okay? So, yeah, you started getting closer to God, doing things by the book, cutting out people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And now you're in this beautiful, happy, faded, elevated, celebrated state. Yeah, so why is this person so sad, Spirit? Because I don't see Gemini coming back or the high vibrational energy is coming back. What's going on? No, you ain't coming back. Not with the five of cups, honey. Somebody is in their emotions over that. 
Yeah, so they're crying over spilled milk, whoever this energy is, that they didn't, they feel that they should have went the distance. I keep saying the distance card. They should have went the distance to help to build this with you. But that's not in their character because if it was, they would have done it, okay? And now they're feeling defeated uh, because you're in this, yeah, because they're looking at you with, oh, yeah, they see you as the two of cups. I saw that, yeah, the ten of cups, two of cups. That's how they see you. And now they feel orphaned and left out in the cold from your happiness, from your abundance, from your land of milk and honey, from your treasure island. They feel left out from that. But little do they know that God separated y'all, not you. Because if it was left to you, you would have probably damn executed yourself over this person. You know what I'm thinking? Well, love, I will just go ahead and sacrifice myself for love for you. And you would end up in the death energy and the five of pentacles energy. But spirit's like, this is not your two of cups like that. Oh, it flipped. Okay, and they ain't not your two of cups like that because they was trying to play you. See how they were trying to play you? But now you've elevated your game and now you're playing the chess. And this is the five of wands. And now, yeah, because this person was trying to cause conflict. And were they trying to put in the... Well, maybe they were trying to compete with you possibly. But you're not in the the competition energy i'm not seeing that when i see this chess and then this not for you because this person was trying to play you all you were trying to do is be real with them and bring them into your land and milk and honey or bring them in your new life or start building and growing with them and they didn't want that they wanted to do what they wanted to do when they wanted to do it possibly a family situation was causing them you know to be stagnated or to slow down or hold back or whatever the case may be but like you're in a whole nother level you're playing a whole nother game and you guys are not on that same frequency anymore. But usually, you know, the lower vibes are going to want to try to, I don't know. They're going to try to, what this person want to do, Spirit? Tell me what this person want to do for Gemini High Vibe. Because I don't see that by you being with them. Child, look, this is what I'm saying. They feel some kind of way. Like, this is a petty bitch. The five of swords didn't come up, but I should have seen it. Because they they want to they just have this for you. This is all they are. Like they if they don't have a teen of swords or some type of five of wands energy going on in their energy, they don't feel right. So they want to kind of balance it out. You're too fucking happy. You're too upright. You're too this. And this is making this person feel some kind of way because they want to keep you in a third party situation somewhere. That's just what I'm feeling. And they want to end something. Your new beginnings. Okay, this is what I feel. Oh, because they're jealous. I get a lot of jealousy. Whoever this masculine or feminine energy that you were attached to, your soulmate, they're jealous of you. They say, yeah, because things come to you. Now, even though it doesn't because you had to work hard and you've gone through a lot of shit to get to where you're at right now. You've gone through cold times and dark times and people leaving you out. And you've gone through the dark night of the soul and depression and sadness and regret. But you kept it pushing and you kept it moving. Okay, you didn't stop and you wouldn't stop because God and the angels had your, your back. So you pushed through the whole damn thing. But this person's angry because you pushed through all this ruckusness that they tried to put you through. They literally tried to end you for some of you guys. Okay, however that may be. But you still pers persevered and you're still here. And you know this irritates this person? That you're happy? Okay, that you have a new life? Because they thought that they were going to keep you entrapped in a, a repetitive cycle over and over and over again. And God said, oh, no, 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 baby. It is time to go. Time waits for absolutely no one. So when you left that this person thought you were never going to leave, this is the Ten of Swords to them. They feel that you've betrayed them. You've backstabbed them. Why won't you let me treat you the way that I want to treat you so we can keep this shit going? Because I like to play games, okay? Jim and I said, no, I'm going to end that shit. That's what I'm doing. And you're being obedient by God because that's the world card too is God causing these endings. What else, spirit? What else? What's wrong with this energy? This energy, child, Jim and I, you done showed up. Oh, my God. They. Uh, oh, my God, child, Jim and I. So, I don't know. I hope this is not my high vibe, Jim and I. It's not. It is a raggedy air sign, though, Jim and I, because it's right there with the left out in the cold. So, there is a Jim and I feeling left out in the cold because whatever they were holding on to was built on a faulty foundation. They thought they were going to get the wheel of fortune. Maybe they mended something with someone back from their past who ended up putting them in a three, a swords energy, whoever they got with from their past and left you out in the dust before they were a false person, a fake person. So that was their karma to go be with somebody that was fake and selfish and 
all the things and how they treated you, they were to run into a person to do them the same way. So now I guess they got do load or whatever the case may be. They was trapped up in a third party energy. They feel backstabbed and betrayed, you know, and now they want to come and they're asking why, why, why? I don't know why they're asking why. Let them know what go around, come around. That's what go, that's why the truth be told. That's what it is. So now they're in regret because they were, they were commingling with the devil. Okay. Somebody they thought, they thought looked good, but was a venomous poisonous spider a friend of mine. so they had a friend of me in their circle too and now they're feeling stupid okay they don't jump down the alligator's throat and everything making a foolish move they didn't even think before they took this risk they thought they were going to get instant milk and honey wherever they were at yeah with they come yeah they could have been dealing with a queen of cups energy don't have to or capricorn or any sign but it wasn't, that wasn't the way for them to go. And because they moved the way they moved and ended things for them, I think they kind of go into a, a mental hell. Because this is mental hell. This is the ending that you have to keep repeating over and over and over again. An ending. They keep, maybe they're reflecting on the ending that you guys had together. And before you left and walked away, they're reflecting like, oh my God. Because they see you in this star quality energy or this milk and honey energy or this beautiful beautiful you know effervescent energy they see you in that right now now they want to come in and work on things with you and give you all this love are they looking at you as the queen of cups or maybe they think that that's why they can come into you because they do know you as the queen of cups gemini because you are very loving caring and nurturing yeah they want to come together with you it could be a same sex it don't have to be a same sex but these energies want to come together with you because they're very attracted to you as well but that's not what's love got to do with it what does love have to do with it? Absolutely nothing. If you're not going to, and love is action. Love is not a tingly feeling between my leg. That's not love. That's an additive bonus if we are in love. And then the, it's even better when there's love involved. But um, they want to move to calmer waters with you. And they want to come together and work things out with you. But I don't feel that you want to do that because you're in another, like I said, you've elevated. You've elevated so high that I don't think this person can catch up to you anymore. What else, spirit? And if you hadn't elevated, you possibly would have went back down to this energy to try to scoop them up and, and bring them up with you. Because you were like, well, that's my soulmate. I, I, you know, I'm supposed to. And then God was like, and then you, you would have ended up in the same situation as them. So you had to leave them out in the cold in order for you to ascend. Okay. What else, spirit? King of Swords. Queen of Swords. This is definitely your uh, counterpart, your karmic counterpart. I'm going to say that this king of swords is left in the cold. So it could be a masculine energy. Okay. And um, who, yeah, he, yeah, some of y'all are really sad. This king of swords is devastated because he didn't know he played so many fucking games to win at all costs and leave you out in the cold. You ended up, you said you, you didn't even fight it. You just went ahead, ahead with the flow and 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 got into this new life and now you're happy okay and this is the tower to this energy too to either you or it's a masculine energy that is bringing a tower to them this masculine energy is also in a same-sex marriage or relationship it don't have to i mean it is what it is okay it is what it is um that's what happened there's a queen of cups involved somewhere too that he went to go work out something on and it ended up wounded worried and they left, child, it's a hot mess. So this person's confused. I wouldn't even get back with him, Gemini. Yeah, this person isn't even, they don't even know what they want. And that's the worst to be with somebody. You can't, yeah. Spirit says, it's, it's over. It's over, period. They don't even know what they want. And you've had a transformation. So I don't think you are, this, like attracts like energy. And so they're not, they're not on the same frequency of you anymore. And you have had a transformation. You see the butterfly in her, you know. This person has lost a lot of weight too. They could be ill. They could be actually facing some type of uh, major health concern. Yeah. And they want your love. Yeah, they're all in their emotions over it. Because now they see you for who you really are. Only because you're victorious and successful. How did this energy think about my Gemini's in the beginning or my babies in the beginning before they saw all this elevation celebration? Because if they see you want the real them, they showed you the mask part of them because they didn't know. And God hid your elevation celebration, your milk and honey from them. 
okay? Because he wanted you to, so, to see and know the real deal. Because this person was wearing a mask the whole time they were with you. They were wearing a mask. So even, yeah, and, and so you, God don't, look, God wants soldiers. He wants your unique, authentic love. He doesn't want your fake ass love. So God had you hold back from this energy. And that's the judgment call that would, that changed everything. Because it wasn't sincere. This King of Swords is very cold and detached. Very aloof. Very sharp-tongued. They could be facing poverty a lot. In and out, in and out of poverty. Always fighting and fussing with everybody around them. I hear a lot of people have walked away from this energy because they are so... Too much conflict. Okay? Everywhere they go, people are holding back from this person. Okay? So now they're they're being led to come back to you to help. I don't know. Because they're, they're in a poverty situation. So I don't know if they have to move for some of them. Or whatever the case may be. Yeah, they got to move, honey. They are going through some hardships, some poverty, honey. They got to jump through hoops now and shit. Yes, they got to jump through hoops to make things happen now. And now they're looking at you because you possibly helped this person out. You helped him out no matter what was going down, okay? This person probably didn't have very much at one time and you helped him out, okay? No matter what they were going through at whatever time, you always helped this. You would jump through hoops for this person. But would this person jump through hoops for you? No, they wouldn't. That was wishful thinking, okay? They had you in the they had your head all in the clouds. This was an illusion. They wanted you to think that they was gonna jump a hoop through for you, but it wasn't. This is a petty betty that wanted to win at all cost. And for that, there's endings in their life now because they're a risk taker. So what's going on with this person? Spirit more. Tell me more what's going on in this person. That we're talking about that wants to come back in Gemini's life. That Gemini, I don't know. Some of y'all, I don't know. I just keep saying I don't know because I get different energies, y'all. And I can't read for everybody. That's why I say it'll only resonate with some and not. Yeah, you done walked away. You were, This is a relationship. It was a relationship, definitely. Um, You were the lucky one. You were the luck. So, every, so I'm sure if you were in this person's energy any at any given time, they received some type of good luck. And this is your soulmate. You were the loyal, the loyal soulmate. But they didn't learn the lesson. So God's not going to let allow you to stick to a, an idiot. Okay, to keep going through things after you done learned your lesson. So why he got to keep repeating it with the idiot? No. So that's why you had to leave. That's why God said it's time to go. Everything's timing. This out, look, because if you would have stayed, you would have missed the timing on this milk and honey that you're about to go into. Because God is not going to reward the devil or a loser. And I'm sorry I got to say it like that. It is what it is. He's not going to reward the devil and he's not going to reward no loser with these blessings. And as long as you're attached to the loser or the devil or whatever the case may be, you are going to experience this five of pentacles. But time was out for that. It's time for poverty, time for feeling left out, time for all of that. That's over. And this person is still in this energy. So God will not allow you to go back to this energy ever again because you're way too confident. Okay? You're way too confident. You're way too secure. You're way too elevated, way too spiritual and tapped into God to the point where you, you're learning all the lessons and you know why this person was brought in your life, you know, to help build you up. I mean, to build you up in the best way. Like, yeah, it was unfortunate for you to have to go through this three of, what is it? This three of uh, swords energy. Yeah, that's why Spirit said nothing. Because this person always kept you in a third party energy. Always. Uh, even when you was trying to build and do all this, they didn't want that. This person was very selfish. Only thing they cared about was themselves and the, other, and, and the opinion of others at the end of the day. Well, had you jumping through hoops and everything through this person trying to help you know, heal or mend them or lead them. And all they did was not, they didn't give a fuck, period. So you did the right thing, babies. But I'm tired of talking about this energy, sad and shit. They, what else, spirit? What else? Because I got to get out of here because you're going to get a 10 of cups, though. I know that much. God is going to balance out the skills as he is because you're not even in this relationship anymore. So be patient. Keep holding on. Trust God because he will come through. There's going to be some good news coming through. Okay, about another individual. Let's go and get into the new love. Okay, we're going to end Krusty Woundy's reading. And we're going to get into the brand new love that's coming in. For those of you that have done the hard work. And are waiting and expecting that. Okay, 
So I hope this helps you guys. You, whoever left, you did the right thing because you God was screaming at you that this is not for you. This motherfucker played way too many games. And they're like, oh my God. Some of y'all was questioning God. Why? Why, 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 why? I mean, come on now. They, they, Some of you, they person gave you a headache. When you think about them, they gave you a headache. By you putting up with foolishness and hardships by this person, that's not love. Okay, love goes both ways. If the person loved you, they wouldn't be trying to put you in a chain of swords energy, right? That's the ultimate betrayal. So that's why this cycle had to be ended, Spirit said, okay? And it was time to go. Okay, so I'm going to end your reading right there, Gemini. I love you so much. I hope this helps. You know, clear things up so you don't be questioning why in your mind, why did God do this and why did God do that? No, now you're, some of you aren't. You're just accepting and going through your rebirth and enjoying your life and living like it's golden right now, okay? So I'm proud of you. And with that, I'll end it and I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you. Bye.